Months after a college student is gunned down during a home invasion, his family will hold a celebration on what would have been his 20th birthday. Vince Turnage was a track star at Mount Healthy High School who went on to run track at Akron. Angela Ingram joins us with how his family is hoping to turn what could be a sad day into a day to honor the athlete's life. Angela? Well, Rob, school administrators say Vince Turnage was popular at Mount Healthy High and well-liked. Two men kicked in the doors of his family home last November and killed a young man who had a promising future. Vince's mother says she's determined to go on despite her loss, and she also wants police to find the killers. Vince Turnage was a happy boy with a charming smile who grew into a standout athlete in high school. He graduated from Mount Healthy. He played uh, all three sports, varsity sports at Mount Healthy. He played basketball, football, and ran track. Very proud of him. Um, it's like he grew up overnight. He was my little boy for a long time, and then all of a sudden he sprouted up to this young man. Vince's skills on the track field landed him a scholarship at the University of Akron. His studies were as important as track. They won their men's championship his first year there, so he brought home three medals. But last November, the Turnage family was devastated. Vince was home from college on Thanksgiving break when two men broke into the family's house on Tassie Lane. The men held the family at gunpoint in one room while Vince and his girlfriend were in the basement bedroom. And one suspect shot and killed Vince as he got his girlfriend out of the house to safety. I think his actions that morning saved us because we didn't know what was going to happen to us. And I think he startled the guys that was in our house. Police say Vince was not the intended target, but that doesn't ease Lashana Turnage's pain. Instead of dwelling on the negative, Lashana is trying to focus her energy on the life Vince lived. Tomorrow, she'll hold a celebration of what would have been Vince's 20th birthday while praying that the men who killed her son are caught. He lived a happy life, so he would want us to be happy for him and to continue on. And I want to celebrate his birthday, not to say that he's not here anymore, but he still lives on within us. When Vince was killed, Mount Healthy High School retired his football jersey. Tomorrow at 4.30, the family will gather at Spring Grove Cemetery to remember Vince, and then they will continue on to their home on Tassie Lane. Rob, back to you. Thank you very much. If you have any information that can help police find these shooters, call our partners at Crime Stoppers. You don't have to leave your name to get money for tips.